Alright, good morning guys. I hope you guys are having like a great day. Actually, you know doing like circuit breaker, there's like gyms are closed and whatnot. So you guys probably have to like implement like own workout training, own workout program, doing this two months plus of like not hitting the gym and having like an adequate workout with weights and cables and whatnot. So since actually I'm heading to go for a workout, so I was thinking like why not show you guys like what exercises I have been doing throughout the whole circuit breaker thingy. Workout program that I have been doing for every week is actually a full body split and it's a three days full body split. So what I do is I will probably hit like all of my different parts of my muscle such as my chest, my back, my shoulder, my legs and my arms and my abs as well. So basically I'll be showing you each different exercises that actually hit different group muscles in my body. Actually if you have been following along my channel, I do really appreciate it and I just hope you or whoever that is a new viewer to actually like the video and subscribe to the channel. I got myself all warm up ready and so I'm going to start with my first exercise. First exercise that I'll be doing is actually the, the archer push up. Archer push up is basically when you do a push up right, instead of a conventional normal push up, you're actually doing it from one side to another. Something like this. Your hands have to be um, slightly shoulder width apart. So basically your arms, instead of like this, it will be slightly bit wider. So it'll be like this. For your palms position, you can either choose to face forward or you can choose to put it by the side. But for me, uh, preferably, I will always, for one of my working side, I would like to have it face down, face forward, and the other side on my side. So it looks like this. It looks something like this. If you can see for my palms. So I'll go down. One, two, something like this. So have your legs, instead of standing it, um, close each other, have them spread out a little so that um, it won't interfere with your CG. One. Two. Three. Yeah, so you want to you want to make sure that your body right is um, straight lah. So it's straight. It's straight all the way instead of like slouching like that. Try to have your body upright and then go down all the way. Side like that you're going down. Your arms, right, try to keep it as straight as possible. You don't want to um, utilize any strength from your helping hand. So your arms should be like this. Straight all the way. Don't slouch and go down like that. If not, if not you are, you are, it's in a way you are having like a help from your other side of the arm, which you don't want to. Uh. You want to just solely focus all your strength on your working side, the side that you are going down. For this exercise, you could choose to do one side first. Means like one, two, or you can alternate. So you can one, two, three, four, something like this. So for my next exercise, right, I'm actually um, doing like a resistant band row. So what you need to do is probably find like a pillar, a pillar or anything that is like round and elongated surface. Uh, so you can strap your resistant band around it. Uh, you will ideally want to take a few step back lah, so you can feel like the resistant band is really stretched. So right here, uh, we made a neutral neutral spine, chest out, and then when you're ready, um, you want to flex your pull the pull the resistant bands towards you. So this will be one, two, three. So as you pull, right, hold it there. And then release it. Slowly extend your elbows back. And then pull again. Slowly extend your elbow back. If you want to actually do this and make it more difficult, right? You can do this with one hand actually. Two. Three. Four. Another way you can do is actually to add a second resistance band along this. One thing you need to take note right is that you need to make sure while you're doing it, try not to flare your elbows, try to tuck them in so that you will want to injure your shoulder. Lah. So tuck them in and then pull them towards you instead of no flaring it out. Get as close to your legs, pull them in. So my next exercise that I'm actually doing is a shoulder exercise. So uh, what I have been doing during circuit breaker was actually um, doing a pipe push up. 
to do the bike push up you can actually choose to do it on the floor or if you want to increase the difficulty you can actually put your leg on the bench itself as well so right if you're doing on the floor right you want to make sure you are positioned in such things like this and round your back as much as possible and have your leg as straight as possible at the back so it'll be like this if you want to increase the difficulty right try to go as close as possible so that is the starting position for it as you go down stick your head out as much as possible one two one two one two you want to try to not flare up your elbows try to have it tuck towards your your body as much as possible and you really feel the contraction of your of your delts now, as you can see from how i was doing the exercise earlier my next exercise right, is actually my vertical pull exercise i found myself around an elongated surface and then i hang my resistance band over there so you want to grab the resistance band and then go down so in a way you are kneeling down uh, then you could actually feel the stretch the resistance band stretching and Basically, you want to position yourself in such a way you are doing like a lap pull down. Position your, your arms in shoulder width apart. So as like this. And then we made a neutral, we made a neutral spine. We track your scapula. And then your chest up. And then, right, pull it towards your chest. One. Three. Four. Five. If you want some difficulty, you can grab, you can do it one hand as well. So, one, two, three. As you do this exercise, right, just try to make sure you pull all the way down and then really squeeze your back, squeeze your lats. You can feel the, the, feel the squeeze on your lats itself and then slowly extend your elbow back up and then down again and then slowly extend it back. Next up will be the Bulgarian split squat. So basically, I'll be laying the resistance band on the floor and I'll be doing the Bulgarian split squat while pulling the resistance band to create some tension on my muscle. And one of your legs, step over it. And then the other, rest on the bench. And then grab the resistance band. And then as you come up, this is one, two, three, one. Two, three. Throughout the motion, you also want to try to remain the neutral spine instead of leaning forward or leaning backward. So that if you ever lean forward or lean backward, right, you interfere with your CG and you could easily like fall off from your position. So try to remain a neutral spine, keep your body straight, and then as you go down, so just imagine you're doing like a squat. So just go down, come up. Once your knee touches the ground, you can show you come up already. So if you are training your lower body, you definitely don't want to miss out your lower back because your lower back is like super important. For the exercise that I do to train my lower back is um, the resistance band deadlift. Have the resistance band under your leg and then proceed to pull it up. And then you just imagine that you are doing, uh, uh, you are executing and going to do a deadlift. So, one, two. Three, four. You need to make sure that your spine is uh, remain straight, remain neutral. Uh, try not to run your back. If not, you injure your lower back. Uh, basically, try to extend your arm as much as possible instead of like curling, instead of like flexing it. You know, as you're doing the exercise, right? You could actually feel your lower back, your glutes, which is your butt, and your hamstring um, contracting while you're doing while you're pulling the bend and extending up your back one thing to keep in mind is right um, try not to hyper extend your back all the way for the next exercises i'm actually supersetting it so uh, i'll be doing the overhead tricep extension and i'm doing to do a bicep curl grab both ends of the bend and turn backwards your elbows are already extended backwards and hence pull the bend upwards over your head until your arms are almost straight Remember, your elbows should be locked and your shoulders should be tucked in all the while. So for the bicep curl, you can have the band strapped under your leg or found around an elongated surface. And then, um, you want to take a few step backs with your arms almost extended out. Hold it with your underhand grip 
Maintain a neutral spine and have your elbow pull your palms towards your chest. Squeeze your biceps as much as possible and then slowly extend back to position. My next uh, exercise is the abs exercise. It's called full body crunch. So you want to lie, lie down flat, right? Here. At least have your arms and your legs straighten out flat to the ground. Then as you come up, one, two, three, four. So after doing finish the full body crunch, right? My next exercise is to target my obliques. So for obliques wise, I'll be doing the Russian twist. Have your legs up and bend your knees. The body uh, remain straight, remain neutral spine. Turn your torso to one side, one, and then two, and then three, and then four, and then continue, alternate like this, continuing continuously. So throughout the motion, right, actually you also want to um, make sure that the only thing that is in contact with the ground is actually your hips. Your legs and your body has to remain elevated throughout the entire motion. The only thing that is actually turning is your torso itself, your body, your upper body. Your, your lower body should not turn at all. So my last exercise is actually an like abs finisher exercise. The exercise name is called a leg lift static hole. Instead of having your torso facing the ground, you are actually facing upwards. So your back is facing the ground instead. So it will be lying flat on the ground. If you could feel like your tailbone is pain, you can actually put your, your arms to your side. Lift your leg up. And then lift your body up. And then hold it there. While doing motion, right, you want to breathe in and breathe out. So as you, as you breathe out, right, your abs are actually contracting. So feel the contraction of abs as well. And you can actually feel your quads and your glutes working out. Because they are trying to hold your legs big ground. So those are the exercises that I've been doing um, throughout Circuit Breaker and currently in post Circuit Breaker as well. And I hope you guys also actually enjoy the video itself of how I've demonstrated the exercises. So right now I'm currently open for like online personal training. So if there's any of you that are actually interested in me being your personal trainer via online or in person itself, um, do DM me on my Insta or you can actually write into an email that is also under the description itself. So, I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, please like and subscribe to the channel. So, I hope you guys are maintaining your gains. And yeah.